So we got a call for a Yukon that is stuck in the sand at Sand Hollow, and I guess they got a trailer too. I just talked to the customer and they said they're disconnected from the trailer, so we're gonna have to hook them back together and then get hooked up to them and, and pull them out. But we're gonna see if we can get that done today. We've got Rudy here to help, and we've got our cameraman, Randy. All right, it's hot out. Pull you out on the road now. Is that your trailer over there? That is. Okay, and I, that'll be easy. I'll just hook the Jeep up to it and pull it out. Okay. So we'll just get you up on the road and then go get that one. Okay, this trailer is going to pull but we're going to find out in a second Okay. 
Okay, well, thank you much. It. Thank you. You guys enjoy the rest of your trip? We're going to try. Thank you. You guys have a good one. Well, that wasn't too bad. The trailer was small enough we were able to get hooked to it and get it pulled out pretty easily, so another job done. So we got a call for a GMC Yukon that's stuck in the sand out to Sand Hollow. We're going to head out there and get it. We got cameraman Tim, and we got Ed. Hello, everybody. Weather's nice, a little breezy, warm. We'll get it out. So I get questions about the cooling system on my Jeep quite a bit because these are somewhat prone to overheating when you start working them hard and it gets real hot. I've got some basic stuff done and I'll do a Jeep walk around, a new one. I'll do a new walk around on the Jeep to show you like all the systems and, and what I've done to upgrade. But I just want to tell you real quick, we've added an auxiliary cooler in the heater hose line so that and it effectively makes the cooling system think that the heater's on all the time. But instead of blowing the heat in here, it's blowing it outside. So we just did that and we're able to keep the AC on. The AC's blowing colder than it ever has. And it's over 100 out there, isn't it? It's 102. It's 102 degrees out there. And uh, temperatures are under control, AC's blowing cold. And I was just telling Ed, we should have done this two years ago. All these parts have been laying on the shelf. <laughs> yeah. We've been suffering all this time. And I didn't know they had parts. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we just used the heater core for this Jeep. I just went to the parts store, bought a heater core, put an electric fan on it. It's, blowing fre or it's pulling fresh air through the louvers in my hood, out exhausting into the engine bay. And man, it is it's working really good. No, we're just, we're just getting a picture. Yeah. What's up? Okay, go ahead and jump in it. So you're going to want to start out with your wheels about right there. Okay, okay just put it in drive. Okay. Um, tiny bit of gas, like okay. less than a thousand RPM or about a okay. thousand RPM. Okay. And I'll just pull you right out here. Right. And then when we start getting on the gravel, I'll put my arm out the window and that's when you start easing on the brake okay. so you don't run over any of this stuff. Okay. Um, 
They've got a <laughs> oh, that oh one. yeah, that way. <laughs> okay, head down the camera. Well, I got a tent down here a little ways. I'm gonna go grab my money. I'll be right back here. Okay? And between that and my, and between my money and my debit card, I can get twenty bucks. Just, we'll just we'll just get you pulled out. Okay, thank you. doing here we're gonna just pull you back and then once we get you up on top of the sand where I can get underneath it then we're gonna pull you forward and pull you out to that hard pad so go ahead and start it up okay um, that's straight right there you're pretty much not gonna want to do anything but leave the steering wheel about right there okay. put it in reverse okay. um, and don't you don't have to give it any gas or anything Straighten it back out. One more. One more right there. That's straight. Okay, put it in drive. Put off the brake, and we'll just roll up here. When I, when you see me put my hand out the window, just ease on the brake. Thank you. Traffic's not bad, so we made it out to the road and then hook them and go get on the other job. So we were out here looking for another call that came in and we stumbled across those guys and they needed some help. So since we had nothing to do, we just pulled them out. They appreciated it. Yeah. And Ed swung yeah. the camera for a few minutes, so. Yeah. That's why you see a lot of the edge brush in the sky. <laughs> Hold it right there. Put off the brake. And we'll just roll up here. When, I, when you see me put my head out the window, just So that call came in that we were waiting for from John. And it's a bluish green camper van that's stuck in the sand pit campground. So that's, it must have pulled off the road. You wouldn't have to pull off too far to get stuck there. They pulled into the sand, they did.
okay? Now back. Yeah, so jump in it and just put it in drive. Okay, turn the wheel. Stop. Now the other way. Okay, stop. Got to drive and hold a camera. Well, that's uh, that's a wrap, I guess. Thanks, Thanks man. Have a happy uh, holiday weekend and. Uh, Okay. What do I, hold on, hold on. I got a tip for you guys. So we got there, got them found, got them pulled out without too much trouble. We got them on their way. And uh, another job done. Yeah, that's easy than pulling them out of the mud. <laughs> I've, in all the years we've been doing this, I've never known you to not get one out. We've always got them out. Yeah, with the help of Ed, we, we get it done.